Just look at you, little munchkin. What's up? What now? I did not expect his voice to sound like that at all. Like, at all. What? What a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we have a game room. Uh -huh. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, still right? still got a ways to go. <gasps> I was going everybody when it was just guns. Bang, bang, gang, gang. Let's get back into this game. Now, we are finally doing Danganronpa V3. You guys have been spamming me. You guys have been... Some of you have been harassing me, not gonna lie, to do this game. And that's why I muted it on Twitter. So, I told y'all it was coming out. It is finally here. I will be dropping these episodes randomly. So, be on it. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you hit that bell notification so you know exactly when a video comes out. Because I know YouTube sucks at that. But, like, you know, hit the bell. It makes things better. But, before I dive on in, make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Leave a like for your girl. Follow social media. Look at stuff. And let's begin. Yo, my eyes are like, I just noticed my eyes are like green screening in the screen because the background is green and since it's reflecting off my big ass eyeball, like you can see the green screen through my eye. That's wild. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. That damn Monokuma. I got him in my background too. <laughs> Oh, they're showing all the all the ones that I did. Oh, okay, they're showing all the other ones. That I I will say the first one was kind of like my favorite one. I think I think the first one was my favorite. The second one was cool too, but I think I liked the first one like the best. This number two got my favorite girl, my favorite gamer girl in there, but number one was kind of cool to me. That was fun too, but. It wasn't, it was way different. So I can't really compare it to the other ones. And then I watched the anime, of course. So I did all of this. I did my due diligence, y'all. I did my due diligence. All right, story. Story is not over. This story is not over. Uh-huh, of course it's not, you damn bear. A new, oh. Oh, a new killing game will begin again. Uh-oh. Let me see the students. Don't tease me. Nothing. No light, no sound. No form, no voice. No knowledge of who I am. Who am I? Who I am? Who I am? Who am I? <laughs> I extend a hand, a hand that belongs to no one, to take hold of my existence. Oh. Hello. This is me. Hi. My name is Kaede Akamatsu. Huh. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. Oh. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Really? This is going to be our main character. Is this the first time we... No, nah, no. I was going to say, is this the first time that we had a girl main character, but then I forgot about, you know, Ultra Despair Girl. So, no, it's not. Okay. Hmm. Oh, this looks different. Hold on. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Oh, I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Oh, are you okay? But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Wait, where am I? What is this place? I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. Uh-oh. Oh, a oh, classroom. A classroom. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Y'all, look at how the windows have, like, they don't have the the steel plates like the other games. They have, like, barbed wire. I feel like that's more dangerous than just having plates, but at least they can see, like, outside a little bit compared to, like, the other ones. Where am I? Where? What am I doing here? I don't know. So how did she just woke up in a locker? Is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I pinched my cheek. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um. Okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't. Oh. 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 Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. Oh, so now, are we, hold on. Is, in this game, are we waking up in lockers now? Did they, did they knock us out? and then stuff us into the locker instead of like just having us wake up at a desk? I don't know. <laughs> As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened and 
Who's in that one? Is that a, a boy came stumbling out? A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head. Oh. I'm so sorry. He screamed as if he'd just seen a monster, fell on his butt, and scooted back. Hi. Who are you? Are you with those other guys? Who are the other huh? guys? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me. Um, kidnapped? Wait. Wait, where am I? What are you gonna do to me? Hey. Hey, hold on. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. I friendly grabbed his shoulders. You know? What's your name? Huh? huh? Uh, um... I I'm Shuichi. Shuichi Saihara. Okay. Making sure I don't butcher these names, okay? Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now, listen to me, Shuichi. Shut up. You're not the only one who's confused right now. Oh, sorry. After making him shut up, I retraced my steps again. <laughs> Dang, she's aggressive. <laughs> That's right. I was kidnapped too. Oh? Oh. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Oh my god. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Oh my goodness. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. And then I lost consciousness. My goodness, so we just kidnapping people now? We're not even knocking them out no more? Like, that's crazy. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. Huh? Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? It seems Jeez. like it. But why me? My family's not rich and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high schooler. Hold a ho. Kaede, we are not starting this, okay? I had enough of that with um the first game. I had enough of that with Ultra Despair Girls, okay? We not we not doing this. We not rehashing this, okay? We're not. There's no reason to kidnap me. Okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um. I wonder why. Huh, I wonder why too. Okay, let's see what we got. Was that, a, I thought that was a, a screen or a scream or something, my bad. Okay, that's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but this blackboard is also an LCD screen. That's something you don't see every day. Right, this is a futuristic school. Okay, so let's look at this. Hmm, we walk up inside of these lockers, but why were we in these lockers in the first place? Right, it just stuffs us like we was just trash. Okay. Um. Let's see, let's look at the windows. Huh. The outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? I, they trying to try to kill y'all, <laughs> okay? They are trying to kill y'all. Okay, let me look around. Oh, what is, what is that? Oh, that's the monitor? Is this the monitor that's being displayed right now? Seriously though, what is it? It seems really out of place here. Huh. Okay, so that's the monitor. All right, so let's get out of that. Let's see. Let's hit stuff. Oh! Oh! I can hit the chairs around. Hold on. Hey! Let's do that. Let's hit these. All right, all right. I think I hit everything that I could hit in this room. I think. Can I hit that? No. Can I hit you? No. Okay, okay let me talk to you. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you no. earlier. No, it's okay. I shouldn't have yelled hey. at you. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? Uh, something bad? What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? Y'all going to kill each other. That's what you got into. So where am I? Why was I kidnapped? Who kidnapped me? I don't understand this at all, but that doesn't matter, at least for now. Hey, let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help, okay? Okay. Yeah, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all of our strength. But then, oh? What the hell? Oh, yeah. You. Excuse me? What? But the monster? What? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? What is this? We need to get out of here. Okay. What? Wait, 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 What are you? What the hell is going on in this game? What is going on? What the hell? What the hell? Kai, oh. over here. Oh, we gotta, can we run? Can we, oh, 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 we are moving. Oh, that thing is chasing me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, we gotta go. Oh no, okay. So we're running from this thing. Oh, oh Jesus, oh Jesus. Ah! Okay, 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 okay. So don't go that way over here. Okay, 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 okay. I'm coming, I'm coming, man. I am not looking back, I'm gonna run. I didn't know that I had to move around like this. Oh my gosh. Okay, can we go in there? Can we go in there? Can we go in there? Can we move? Can we move? 
Whoa, so what are those things? Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Okay, we're gonna run, we're gonna run. They got me running for my life already. This is the first day. Can we go in there? Let's go to the gym. Oh, that's the gym? Okay, as we frantically dove toward the door, we saw something we never expected to see. Other people? Oh. More people have arrived. Oh. Huh? Did you all get chased by that monster too? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a who's a little munchkin back there. Hold on. What are they? Hmm. What do they want with us? Oh, I don't know. You got a nice voice. Do you want me to check on what's happening? You hmm. can't. It's too dangerous out there. Hmm. It's likely that monster still lurks nearby. Oh, they got Wait. very interesting voices. I shouted at the top of my lungs. Who are you guys? And why am I here? I don't know. Make 16. What? Huh? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. Okay. What do you think that means? Uh, we're in a killing game. 16 high schoolers? <laughs> I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Okay. Oh. We got... So, oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Amami. Rantaro Am Amami. Huh. I'm sorry, but... Said, so let's leave it at that for what? now. Oh, okay. No. Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. Nah, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. Were you in a killer game before and survived? Like, what is this? What? If this is what you think it is. Hey! What, you some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out. Ooh, I like her. <laughs> it was at that moment an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie. Okay, quiet everyone. Shimmy down, shimmy down. Hmm. No, no, no. It's simmer down. What? Huh? Huh? Who's that? Where are they? Oh my god. So they just pop up out of nowhere. They just pop up out of nowhere. Thanks for bearing Thanks for with, bearing us. with us. What? What? Are you serious? Damn it. There are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. These aren't monsters. They're ex exosols? What the hell is an exosol? What, what is that? And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapon platforms. Huh? Weapon? Yeah. Should we take those for a spin by killing one of them? Ah! What? Wait a minute. I w it wouldn't be any fun picking on playing good for nothing commoners. <laughs> You're right. We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you. Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you so your guts come gushing out like toothpaste. Wait. Please, no. Not like toothpaste. Oh, uh, I just imagined it. I can't handle gore. Well. And then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one like string cheese? Please, not like string cheese either. Okay, please stop answering him, okay? Because they're gonna keep saying worse and worse ways to kill us, okay? Ah. Wait, we can't kill them with the, the exosols. According to the schedule, the exosols aren't supposed to show up till later. But we're in exosols right now. Ah. Oh, so we are. Oh. Are y'all dumb? Oh, we're, we're screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the exosols for our first appearance. I told you we should have read the what script. You no, you didn't. Oh. Well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, ready. What the hell is going on? What? 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 <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Are these the Monokuma Power Rangers? What is this? The Mono Cubs? Is this the Monokuma Power Rangers? What is this? The Monokuma Care Bears? What is this? See, we're out of the exosols. Now we're not scary anymore, right? Right? No, you, you kinda still creepy. Aww. His desperation is strangely terrifying. You punk asses better brace yourselves. And he's just outright terrifying. I'm a messenger from hell, from the depths of hell. Here to drag it down to hell. No, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Uh, what's hellish mean? What? Um, what's up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? I have no idea. Moving stuffed animals. On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves one of the monocubs. Moving stuffed animals, monocubs. Wait, you guys call yourselves the monocubs? Okay, that, does that one not talk? Okay, don't bother asking Monodam. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Aww. I kind of feel sorry for him. Wait, no, 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 I don't. No, I don't. These are going to be killers. They're going to kill me. I'm going to have to face them. So, no, no. Isn't that right, Monodam? He's still not talking. He's still not talking. Monodam, you want to... Monodam, you won't even open your heart to me. Okay, it looks like I was right. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind all this? 
Why the ridiculous theatrics? Shut up, you. All you are are reacting way too normally to this. This is boring. Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? Hey. Wait a minute, you think they haven't been given their first memory yet? Excuse me? Huh, this should have happened before they woke up. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Monica, then, hey, who the hell are you punks? Huh? Huh? What do you mean? We're just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Ultimate talents? I don't have one. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Uh, um, Me either, I don't have anything like that. Okay. Yeah, same here. I knew it, they haven't gotten their first memory yet. Mona, Mona, Mona Fini? <laughs> Weren't you in charge of that? Oh, she didn't do her job. Look, fire her, fire her, get her out. Oh, oh, what? She's sleeping? Does she seem really tired to you guys? She's obviously faking it. <laughs> she don't wanna answer the question. Even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. Huh, if you say so. Anyway, if you guys really are the Monica, then don't worry about us. The real issue is, is you's bastards. Okay. They gonna stop insulting us when they're the ones that kidnapped us, okay? I'm, I'm the victim here, okay? Well, issue is putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You all have forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. Forgotten? See, according to the backstory, there's this ultimate hunt going on. You've all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt. Um, what are you talking about? Well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true self. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. What the? Are you are you awake already? Why? I don't get it. What are these sealed talents that you're talking about? How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? How are we supposed to know what's going on when you guys are insulting me? We don't know what's going on. Yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. Wait, wait, what? Wait, are they talking about are they talking about Taylor Swift? <laughs> Was that Taylor Swift Shay? Uh, let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whining. That's right. First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. Oh? We're getting a costume change already? What the hell? What? Oh? She looks like just as confused as me. I'm like, what? No. Oh my, are we doing a Sailor Moon type of, what? Okay. Oh, oh, that's kinda cute. That's kinda cute, actually. Oh, right. So she might be into music. Huh. She has a little, okay, she has little music notes on her, so she might be into music. Huh. Okay. Okay. Huh? I like the trip. Mm, looking good. Now you look more like Ultimates. Huh? Ultimates, really? So... Next up, the memory you've all been waiting for. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, get ready. Once the steel is broken, we'll be in the domain of the killing game. Yup, yup, yep. get ready, it's gonna be a wild ride, okay? All right. Now then, after the flashback light helps you remember your amazing talent, this amazing story will begin for real this time. Uh-oh, here we go now. Oh, is this the intro? Oh, oh! Chatty name, oh, is this them putting the memories into them? Of their talent? Oh, oh yes, I, I would love to. <laughs> Okay, ultimate revival. Hmm. So it's hers of music, because it gave her like music pens and a music skirt and music notes everywhere. Okay. Huh. So what's going on? Now we woke up in the locker again. I summoned out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Are we are we doing this again? Oh wait, wait! Did they restart it? Did they restart okay, did they start off wrong and then like the pink one, the pink bear, noticed her mistake and then he said, okay, let's hit the reset button, let's give them their talent because I forgot and let's start it back on over. I think that's what this is. I couldn't even brace myself for impact, yep. This is the same thing. This is the same thing. Huh? Yep, this is the same thing, this is the same thing. I'm not gonna read this again because I already did. Okay, so now she's starting over with her new outfit. Where am I? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're redoing this. Uh Yep, yep, she pinched her cheek and then she turned into two places more than one. Okay. And then he's gonna pop out the locker. Uh-huh. Yep, he comes out. He looks like he's wearing the same thing, though. Hmm. His outfit didn't change. His outfit didn't really change that much, if it did. 
Huh. Yeah. Oh, what? All the more reason we need to stay calm. Oh, Jim Nupaide, number one by Eric St Okay, that's different. They didn't say that before. Yeah, that's right. Try to imagine a sorrowful melody filling your head and soothing your heart. Oh, okay, so now, now that we have our talent, basically, she's referring back to the talent. Okay, so this, now it has these little differences. Okay. Huh. Oh, what? And there go the Power Rangers, okay. <laughs> yeah. A teddy bear? No, it's a monster, you can freak out about this. <laughs> I don't think she was talking to you. That's so mean, you humans are the real monsters for calling us monsters. Although if we are monsters, at least we're pretty monsters. I agree, I'm glad I was born with these looks. I definitely won a genetic lottery. Huh? What are they? What? Are, why are they talking? Aren't they just stuffed animals? No, we're, we're not monocubs, we're the stuffed animals. Monokid, you're saying your lines backwards. No, stuffed animals, us, the monocubs, them. What? Oh geez, it's even worse now. Monocubs? Oh, you've heard of them? No, of course not. I've never seen walking, talking stuffed animals. As soon as I said that, these monocub things started looking at each other and it worked. Okay, they wanted to test their. Okay, they wanted to test their memory to see if they saw them before. Okay, and they're like, okay, good, success. <laughs> hey, worried about what? I don't understand what's going on. All right, now let's tackle each issue one at a time. You're so damn reliable, Monotaro. He's like a sixth grader helping out a fifth grader, which means we should keep our expectations reasonable. Um, well, what's your question? I have loads of questions, but for starters, where are we? This is like a school. Okay, so this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. Uh, juveniles? What we do? Ultimate Academy? I've never heard of a school like that. Of course you haven't. This school was made for you 16 cretins. Huh? Or cretins? I don't know how to say it. 16? Yeah, there are 16 ultimates at the school. Ultimates? You know what ultimates are, right? The government scouts them through this program called the Ultimate Initiative. Basically, the Ultimate Initiative exists to cultivate talent throughout the country. Promising students are eligible to receive all kinds of special handouts, like free school tuition, voting privileges, eligibility to run for elected office. They even get granted money too, right? right? Students chosen by the Ultimate Initiative are known as Ultimate. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Students will do anything for the honor of being chosen Ultimate. I don't need the explanation, I already know, because I'm an ultimate too. What? That means you gotta remember this time, so don't forget anything. Aww. Yeah, forgetting about your ultimate talent is such a waste. Huh, what do you mean forgetting? She is Shut, up. Shut up, quit your yapping and get started already. Huh? Get started with what? Right now. Why, exploring this academy, of course. Also, you should introduce yourselves to the other ultimates, because you guys are all gonna do an activity together later. And also, I've got a rager now. Oh, ooh, hold on. So what the hell is this? Shoot! They left, but I still have so many questions. Okay. Hey. This isn't a dream, right? No, but I wish it was. Okay. Anyway, we have to find a way out of here. But they said there are 16 ultimate students here. Does that mean he's one too? Yes, but we just don't know what his is yet. Okay. So, let's go ahead and knock stuff out again so I can get some points, okay? Are you an ultimate student too? Yeah, well then, I'm Shuichi Sahar. They call me the ultimate detective. Uh, oh, ultimate detective, huh? Hmm. Okay, another Kyoko? Huh? Ah, huh. you're a detective, that's amazing. No. Oh no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. It just happened to solve a case that I came across and now people call me that. Not many people could just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, my name my is Kaede. Kaede okay. Akumatsu. You got I'm it, girl. Ultimate pianist. Awesome. Nice to meet you. Okay, so piano, that's what it is. Okay, so her ultimate talent is playing the piano. Got it. So, Kyoko detective and a boy and piano. Got it. All right. Huh. Ultimate pianist. Well, no one calls me the ultimate pianist. Usually just piano free. Aww. Ever since I was a child, I would play the piano whenever I got bored. Aww. There were even times I played the piano so much that I would forget to eat and sleep. That's called passion, because that, that's me with video games. Eventually, I won trophies from concerts, and people started praising me. Aww. That's how you got your ultimate title? 
And that's way more impressive than me. Oh, no, that's all I'm good for, really. Oh, don't say that. You're, you're more than your talent. But this is my first time meeting another Ultimate well, student. Well, Ultimates are scattered all over the country. They're difficult to find. Even so, there are 16 Ultimate students gathered here now. But why is everyone here? Were we kidnapped? Mm. If so, then is some organization out there trying to kidnap all the hey. Ultimates? About that, I don't remember. Huh? Huh? You don't remember? Uh, uh. I've been trying to remember it, but I can't no matter how hard I try. I have no idea how I got here. When I woke up, I was in that locker. I just don't know how I got there. It's like that memory just fell out of my head. Well, they did. They did kind of like take it away from you guys, okay? And then they just redid it. Kind of just hit the reset button on y'all asses, so I, I understand. Uh, Same huh? here, huh? You know? I can't remember anything, even though I'm trying so hard to remember. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, she got a flashback. What happened? Are you okay? What's yeah. wrong? Oh, I'm fine. I got a headache, that's all. What? It can't be coincidence that we both don't remember what happened um. to us. I'm sure it's nothing to worry about. Probably not a big deal. All right? We're confused. We just need to relax. Ooh, my bad. We're confused. We just need to relax is all. Oh, let's imagine Maurice Ravel's phone attack. Is that music? I really don't know much about music. I see. That's unfortunate. When we get out of here, I'll share it with you. Oh, right. But first, let's look for a way out. And if there's our other ultimate students here, we should talk to them too. At least one of them has got to know You're something. Right. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Obtain the friendship fragment. Okay. You can leave a room by pressing the O button or interacting with the door. Okay, cool. So, I think that I've looked at everything here already. So, let's go ahead and just go out. Yes, let's leave. Let's see the other ones because you weren't really introduced to them fully. I need to see their names and their ultimates. I'm interested. Even though it's a hallway, there's sure a lot of plants go around here. And the air here is heavy. Oppressively heavy, as if forcing you to recall your fears, smothering you in anxiety. But this is just a school, right? What kind of school makes you feel like this? Hmm. What? What is it? What is it, Detective? Uh, um, I just felt something in the pocket of my uniform when I looked. Remember. Oh. Uh-oh, another tablet? Oh, maybe I have one too. I knew my backpack felt heavier. Yep, you got one too. The word monopad is written on it. When did, when did this get in my backpack? My name was displayed when it booted up like a student handbook. Uh-huh. I don't know what it could be used for, but I don't think we should throw it away. Let's just hold on to them for now. Yeah, I agree. Okay. So now, I just gotta look. Oh, there's a little piano room. And what is this? Okay, so that's classroom B. Okay, so we just came out of classroom B. Who might be in classroom C? Let's go in there. Oh, it's locked. It won't open. Looks like I gotta go somewhere else. Okay. Oh, oh, wait, what? Oh, I could do different, huh? I could do different reactions, okay. Yeah, All right, so we right. can confirm. Let's go somewhere else. Okay, that was weird. I never had to do that before. Okay, wait a minute, there's a piano room. What is this? What is that, what is that? Nothing, okay, I can't look at that. So let's just go in this room. Oh, wait a minute, is this a room with you guys? Okay, that's locked too. I can't go in there. It won't open, but this room does look like it was made for me. Yeah, it does. This is like the only girl. Here they go. Here they go. What? What little demons? Lord. Here they go again. Hey. What do you think this place is? Check out all this fancy schmancy writing. Seems like a place for eggheads. Huh? Isn't this an ultimate research class? What the hell? Why would you tell them? We're trying to make it all dramatic. Oh, I see. I'm sorry. Huh? Uh, so she gonna, she gonna spill the beans most of this game. She already messed up in the beginning by not giving us our ultimate. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay close to her. I wanna see what she says. <laughs> What's the ultimate research lab? We want you guys to keep honing your ultimate talent, so we set up these rooms for you. This is the ultimate pianist lab, but we set up labs for the other ultimates well, too, of course. Actually, Most of them are still hidden, though. Um, By the way, the reason this research lab is still locked is because we're still setting up everything. Sorry, we're hustled. We're hustled to get it all ready. Wipe your asses and wait. Hold on, how are you gonna kidnap us and tell us to wait, okay? If you gonna be a kidnapper or professional one, have your shit already ready, okay? Don't kidnap us and then still work on the project, all right? That's, that's, that's so unprofessional, all right? That's good advice and all, but don't you mean to say hold your horses? Mana Kid is such a dumb kid. What are you laughing at? I'll bully you like I bully Mana Dam. Aw, poor baby. Poor, no, wait, why am I feeling sorry for this thing? No, no, Dad. So long. Well. I'm gonna just call them the Power Rangers, okay? Cause oh. they, 
It seems like the music room, but I guess it's the ultimate lab. Hey. So do you think there really are other rooms like this for everyone? Hmm. I wonder about that too. Anyway, I thought this was the music room. I really wanted to play the piano. Oh well, I can play as much piano as I want when I finally escape this place. Huh. So do they have rooms to like, throw us off maybe? That's what that's what I'm thinking. Let me check the, let me check the monopad. Let me see what's going on here, okay? Let's see. Um, not that, not the presents. Let's look at the report card. Yeah, let's look at the report card. Okay, so piano key, she doesn't like bikes. Okay. All right, now let's look at, hmm. Okay, so he likes novels, he likes to read, okay. And he does not like gossip, okay. All right, so let's go. All right, let's go from here. Who's over here? Oh, hello, ma'am. Ooh, what is this? This is kind of cool, what the hell? Let's look at this. What is this? It looks like a dragon statue. But why is there a dragon statue in the school no. hallway? I have no idea. Maybe it's part of the school's official art collection or something? Still no, no idea. Huh, that might have a meaning later on, so I'm gonna, let me see, can I hit it? Okay, no, I can't hit it. All right, let's talk to her. All right, hey, you're an ultimate student, right? Can we talk? Huh? Um, did she not hear me? Okay then. Hey, hello? Is she ignoring me? What, she still can't hear me? Maybe she's a really detailed mannequin. No. No, I don't think that's the case. You never know, we already saw a moving teddy bear. As I said that, I poked her cheek and felt her skin squish beneath my fingertip. Huh? Girl, poking her doesn't even work either? Then maybe she's just a doll. But she looks so real. Try it, Shuichi, poke, poke. No thanks. <laughs> just do it, it's so fun. As I grabbed his hand to make him poke her other cheek, I never thought I'd be poked from both sides. How truly unexpected. Girl, what is going on with you? Okay, let's let's get to let's get to Earth. Okay. Uh -huh. So she wasn't a mannequin. Well, I knew Wait. that. If you knew that, why did you make me poke her? Because she wasn't responding. Oh, I didn't mean any harm. I was just deep in thought. So I thought if I ignored you, you'd go somewhere else. Um, you were ignoring us. Isn't that a bit rude? Um. Well, isn't it rude to force someone to talk when they don't want to? Yes. So I get it. I get it. Oh, but it's fine. I feel like talking now. Right. Now, let's talk. What do you want to start with? Right. My favorite Doraemon episode is 53, the one with security cameras and target practice. You know? Um, before you talk about that, can you tell us your name? Hey. Oh, my you name is... Okay. Hey, ultimate cosplay. Oh, that's gonna be so cool! Oh, I want to see her outfit. That's so cool. Yes! Okay, I like her. So, you're a cosplayer. Yes. Are you surprised? I get that a lot since I'm so plain. Mm. I mean, it sort of makes sense. You have this strange, almost sexy aura about you. I see. I bet it's because you've got people ogling all your curves on a daily basis, um. huh? Kaede, you sound like a creepy old man. <laughs> Normally, I don't really like people looking at me like that. Actually. I just like making cosplay. I'm fine with others wearing them. But lately, more cosplayers are putting themselves before their characters. You're right. I'd rather wear my outfits myself, with love, than giving them to people like that. You're pretty intense. It makes me happy when I get to show people the outfits I've made. And thanks to my sponsors, I can use materials that are just plain expensive. I mean, I get it, I like the passion. Oh, well, of course Ultimate Cosplayer would have sponsors. It's not a big deal, people just crowd around like I'm a panda at the zoo. You're so amazing, you're pretty much a celebrity, you know? As, is it all right if I ask you something too? Earlier, you looked as if you were thinking hard about something. What was it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, we need to ask for that. Nice job, Shuichi. That, one thing. that bronze dragon statue over there. I'm just being curious about it. I was looking at it too. Because where is that coming from? It almost seems like it's floating, right? Doesn't it look pretty out of place? Now that you mention it, you're right. It sort of bothers me too. This is a school, right? But everything here is so weird, isn't it? There's trees and grass growing inside. I can't find any exits. And it seems like we're the only people Actually. here. Are we gonna be okay? Are we gonna be able to get out? Um, huh, Kaede was wrong. That frightened look on her face is sorta of sexy. Girl, what is wrong with me? We are trying to get out. We're not trying to find a date. <laughs> this again? I'm just kidding. Well, it's not a big deal. Our present situation is our main concern. Once it's over, we'll be good and handy. You're pretty optimistic, Kaede. Mm -hmm. Well, people do say I'm carefree. Worrying won't get you anywhere, you know? It's better to just be carefree. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Being all depressed won't yeah. help anything. Yeah, so let's try to find a way out. She's like, let's go. <laughs> all right. 
So let's look at her report card. Hold on, let's look at hers. So let's see. Okay, so she likes Eva phone disorder. She doesn't like disorderly cues. Okay, so let's leave that alrighty. Okay, so they have the bathroom. It looks like a cafeteria, a bank, maybe. I don't know. Okay, so let's look. Let's go to the bathroom. Anything in there? This is the girl's Hello? bathroom, right? Shuichi, do you mind waiting here? Okay, sure. Jeez. Don't give me that weird look. I'm just gonna check if there's anything inside. I doubt there'd be an exit, but just in case. Aw, he's so cute. He's like, okay, he was a little embarrassed. All right, so nothing in here, it looks okay. like. The toilet seemed normal, but it's weird that the plants are growing this thick. Huh, and why is there a monitor in the bathroom? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Huh, why is there a monitor in the bathroom? Hmm. Okay, the boys' bathroom. Shuichi can go in there, not me. This is the boys' bathroom, right? I can't go in there, not even in this situation. Um. If you want, I can go look. Uh -huh. What? I'm not that curious about what's in there. Remember. Well, this is an unusual building. Anything can be in there. Wait, here, wait here a minute, okay? So he's gonna check. I can't go in. With that, Shuichi opened the door and walked inside. Hmm. It was just a normal bathroom. Nothing out of the ordinary. No one was inside. I see. That scared me. Maybe detectives live for these kind of scary situations. And hello there. Let's talk to you. You act like you know everything. Hey there, you guys got kidnapped too? Well, you both look all right. That's good. Situation could be better though. Yeah, totally. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? If you're asking us, then you don't remember either, do you? You're the same way too, huh? You don't remember anything, do you? I guess that means everyone here is the same. Everyone? I asked the others too, they all said they don't remember. So the others don't remember either. It's like we all have amnesia or something. But that's normal, that's not normal. If everyone here has amnesia, oh, I guess we're all in a pretty abnormal situation now. Huh? huh? That's not what? true. What? Amnesia's a stretch, we're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. Or it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. <laughs> In any case, I hope you remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? To tell you the truth, how I got here isn't the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Ooh, did it not work on him? Did the did the did the little talent thing or memory thing not work on this dude? Huh? What? Yeah. I'm in trouble. I know I must have been some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Is that true? Yeah. Of course it is, but then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. oh, I never told you my name, did I? It's not like I already told you, but then I forgot I did, right? Yo, is he on to something? Because, like, the first time that we saw him, he was talking, and he was like, if this is what I think it is, then we're in trouble, okay? And then now, he's like, I don't remember my talent, and then he's bringing this up. So maybe he still remembers. Maybe he still remembers from the first time. I don't know, I gotta keep my eye on him. No, you haven't told me your name yet. My name is Rentaro Amami. Can't remember my own from the town. Huh. But I promise, I'm not that Nice to meet you. It's like some people's voices are low and then some people's are high, I don't know. All right, Rentaro Amami. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. It's weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent. What? You know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway, it'd be nice if we can get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Stop that, we'll escape soon. You really think it's gonna be that easy? What do you mean? Nothing, just a feeling. <laughs> don't worry about it, all right? Huh, I gotta keep my eye on him. He knows more than he's letting on. He's, he knows more. I thought he'd be a pretty chill guy to talk to, but I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Huh. I gotta keep my eye on him. Let me see his report card. Let me look at it. Let me look at his report card. Let's see. All right. And he doesn't like cars. He likes extraterrestrial rights. His ultimate is confusing. We don't know. All right. All right. Oh. Is this a witch to the right? <laughs> is this a dining hall? A dining hall definitely makes this place feel more like a school, but this place is called the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles. I doubt it's anything like a typical school. Hmm, so let's talk to you, ma'am. What are you doing over there? Okay. 
I'm yelling so I can build up my spirit energy. Didn't you know how you can unblock your brain's full potential by yelling to build up your spirit energy? That's... Uh, I've heard that pro athletes do that. It's supposed to help you yes. focus. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Akaido. Huh. Akaido, then you're... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Then I'm Tenko... Tenko Shabashiro. Oh. Yeah. The ultimate Aikido master. Aikido. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Aikido. Aikido. Okay. Aikido master. Okay. Cool. Insane. I've always imagined Aikido masters to be huge, blurry, burly guys, but you're so cute. Cute? Stop it. I'm not cute. My face crinkles when I suck down the shake, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out. Um, I see, but I think you're cute. Right, Shuichi? Okay. Huh? Oh, right. I don't care about that. What's the matter? Your face looks really intense now. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around yes. It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. I, if any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across yeah. the room. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. Hey. By the way, what is Neo Aikido? That's right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. Hmm. Okay, she's a little interesting. I'm, I was about to call her Goku, talking about spirit energy. <laughs> all right. So let's look at hers. Let's look at what she dislikes. I want to keep in mind of that. Okay, so she dislikes men. Should have known that. All right, all right. <laughs> all right, and let's talk to which looking girl? What's up with you? Huh? Are we stuck here? Yeah, that's what it looks like. But don't be scared. I'm sure we'll be out of this place in a jiffy. No. I'm not scared. It's just a pain. Something like this won't make me panic because I'm a mage. Huh? Oh, a mage. Yeah, that's right. I haven't told you guys yet. Prepare to be amazed. Oh. All to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate mage. Oh, she sounds so adorable. She sounds like a cute little baby. Hmm. Uh, everybody's weird. I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Okay. She sounds so cute, okay? I see. You're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Mm. I mean, it makes sense, though, since magic doesn't exist. Aww. Mm. Magic does exist. Huh? Huh? Mm. Because I'm a mage. Oh. <laughs> You're just a magician, no. right? Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I'm actually a mage. Huh? A ruse? Mm. You guys might not know them, but there's a group called the Magic Castle. Also known as the Hall of Magicians, is where the world's magic lovers um, gather. I was the youngest person to ever win their Magician of the Year award. See. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It's all a ruse. They keep, they're keeping my magic a secret by disguising it as tricks. Because of this ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. They're, they're there. Don't be sad. Hey. Well, you know you can show us your magic. Then we can believe That's you. That's right. That's right. Help us out with your ma magic. <laughs> Take us back to when we originally. No. Magic isn't all powerful. I can only do so much. Mm. I see. Then what can You're you right. do? I could choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release doves. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks, girl. Those are basic. We need we need you to levitate somebody. We need you to 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 heal someone. Do something. All right. So, huh? I bet she doesn't like being called a magician. <laughs> Maybe that's her thing. Let's see. Oh, she doesn't like the ocean. Oh, she likes small spaces, though. Hmm. All right. So, let's look around this room. What is that? This looks like the rules for the dining hall. Dining hall rules. You may eat any food you find in a dining hall. Please take responsibility for all utensils and dishes used and clean up after yourself. The dining hall will be locked during nighttime. Nighttime, so it's closed at night. Hmm. Okay, so let's keep that in mind. That's closed at night, that's a regular monitor. Okay, and then barbed windows. Okay, cool. Um, no, let's hold on. Let's let's see if I can hit stuff. Let's see if I can hit stuff. Yup, let's get some coins while we at. So we have an Aikido specialist and then a magician in there. Okay, so let's go in here. What is this, the warehouse? Huh, everything looks so different compared to the other games. Oh? Is this, is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Okay, let's talk to you, Miss Thing. Miss Foul Mouth. Damn it. Oh, so where the hell is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, hey what are you looking for? 
Don't sneak up on me, bitch. Ooh, hold on. We started already. She's swinging out the gate. My goodness. I literally just met you. You already called me a bitch? Hey. Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you. You shouldn't talk to Kaede hey. like, hey, crotch rot. You staring at my tits? Huh? Excuse me? What? <laughs> Help yourself. A guy like you can only dream of landing a big boo potty like me. Go on, get yourself a good eyeful. Uh, um, no, I wasn't staring. My eyes just happened to look there. Mother oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my hand just happened to grow her. <laughs> I, can, I, I can identify pervs on sight. And you are definitely a fucking perv. Oh, my God. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty crotch. Girl, you are going way too hard right now. You might want to chill it down. Calm it down, okay? Um... Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> Everyone knows that only pervs wear hats. Um, stop. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. That's right. You go ahead and stand up for yourself. Here you go. Oh, oh, oh. What the hell are you getting pissed off at me for? Tell the world you're sorry. If you saw me into losing motivation, what that loss would be felt across the whole world. Hey. Hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you? Seriously, you don't know who I am. I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. Really? I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Nui Ruma. Okay, good for you. Okay, calm that mouth down a bit. I mean, like, I cuss too, but like, I don't just call people bitches for no reason. Like, good lord. <laughs> All right, so she's an inventor. Okay. Um, I've never heard of you. So what kind of things do you invent? Mm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep, even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Uh, Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though, this one time I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, that's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> your friends sound like total plebs. Or plebs? I don't know. <laughs> that invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you two. I signed that patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do stuff while sleeping invention. Um, By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate. What to find was that? It. Are you a dumbass? In a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. Huh? Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling fucking sick? Moron. No, idiot. I need strong meds because I wanna trip my fucking balls off. Yo, what is up with this girl? What is up? Uh, I just want to set my mind free and forget all about this shitty situation. <laughs> she wants to get high. She wants to get high to forget that she's here, okay? I feel it though. Don't do that. Don't do it, y'all. You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. Stop it. What the hell? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the shit I need to get loosey goosey. So, are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? Yo, is she going through mood swings? Like, is she bipolar? I don't know. They say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. Okay. So she got a little screws loose, but you know, it's okay. What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since Miyu mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? Hmm. Okay, let me look at her, her report card. Okay. So let's see, where's she at, where's she at? Okay, she does not like taking it easy, but she likes children's television. Oh, she's a November baby like me. Okay. Huh. All right. Let's talk to you. Are you okay? He's quiet now. Huh. Okay, so we can't talk to him about that. All right. What is this stuff? So a remote controlled helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? So they got a helicopter there. And then a shot put ball for track and field. Does this place even have a sports stadium? Or does it? These look like a high jump bar, so it has a lot of gym equipment. Huh. I didn't expect to see professional equipment like this here. Okay. And then a mat. So a lot of gymnastics stuff. These mats are pretty heavy. Must be a lot of work to carry these to the gym. Hmm. All right. So they got a lot of gym equipment in here. And then they got a hurdle, too. This hurdles, we can hold our own track and field meets with this equipment. Hmm. All right, so they got a lot of stuff there. Can I knock it? Oh, I can't. Okay, I think that's all that there is to the warehouse. So let's get out of here. Okay. Hmm. These people's talents are very different, I would say. Okay, so let's go over here. And what is this? The oh, that's the school store. I thought it was a bank. <laughs> oh, that's locked. 
Hmm, I guess this doesn't open. Looks like you gotta right. go somewhere else. Okay. All right, so let's go. Where did I not go? Okay, I went to the bathroom. Okay, there's like a sitting area over here. And I don't know where that leads to. What, what does that lead to? Wait a minute, where am I? Okay, what is this? Oh, okay, got some new people hey. in here. He said, wait for me. Please stop. He said, don't come any closer. That boy in white is chasing that other boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? Is he a robot? Hold on, hold on. Okay, so let's talk to you. Hello. <laughs> Wait up. Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? huh? A robot? What is, what is it? Are you another robophobe? What? No. I have a recording function. If you make any robo robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Wait, are you a robot? Are you for real a robot? No. Are you one of the Monica? Please stop! Do not compare me to those toys. I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kiba. Okay, Kiba. Hello, the ultimate robot, huh? All right. Um, ultimate robot. Hmm. That's not fair. You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself, yeah. too. Um, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. Supreme leader? Like a villain? Like what? Like what? A robot and a supreme leader. None of them make any By sense. The By the way, I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. Oh, My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not You're not funny. funny. Right? Of course you don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock don't me. mock me. I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy. I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying um, it. Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor Adab Ad Adabashi, the leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing with the human brain. That's why at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But, but the professor raised me like I was his own child. He taught me so many things until I finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now I stand here before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey the robots have dicks? Excuse me? Hey! Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty classic for a robot. Well, I can see how being a robot might be enough to be called the ultimate oh. robot. Hey, Kokichi, I don't really understand your ultimate supreme leader talent. Ah. Oh, I'm just supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. So, a villain. Like I said before, a villain. Huh? Um, I gotta say, it's pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously? The supreme leader of an evil organization? Because I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar, after all. Huh? What? You were lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil secret organization. That part Jeez. was true. So were you lying or not? <laughs> I'm not telling you. Bitch! We're not playing games. We're already in a- we're already in a killing game. I don't need you to be playing games with people's minds, all right? We're already screwed up as it is, all right? Are you the ultimate liar? Or like, what are you? What are you? Like, God. Hey. By the way, what is the name of that organization? Ah. It's a secret, you know, because it's a secret organization. But, but I've never heard of such a large organization like maybe. that. Of course you haven't, because it's a secret organization. Jeez. Hey, everything he said so far has sounded like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he has been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course, you're not a suspicious person because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> oh, ooh. I, oh, you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocky punch? I, can't. I don't have that function. Aw, oh. oh, man, you're boring. What a weird boy. He's like a mischievous little child. This is no time to be joking around, unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Is he just a liar? Like, is he like the uh, the ultimate liar? Like, I don't know. I don't know. He's annoying. But let, let's look. Let's look at the report cards, okay? So let's see. Where's the robot? Where's the robot? 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 Okay, you. Okay. He is the ultimate supreme leader. He does not like pig feet, but he likes carbonated drinks. And wait, June twenty first. Is he a Gemini? Is that why I don't like him? I don't know. Okay. He does not like vending machines, and he likes bolts. Okay. Alrighty. Oh, that says Meanie. This blackboard, okay, wait a minute, I saw it. It had a message on it, okay, cool. So it has little secret messages on the boards when you do the investigative thing, huh, huh. It looks like it goes down should to the basement. Do? What should we do, you wanna head down? 
I don't know. The base might be dangerous. The place is full That's of right. mysteries. Now let's proceed with caution. With you at the front. Uh, okay. Um, I'm so I'm in the front. I see. With hesitant, with hesitant Shuichi leading the way, we carefully made our way down the stairs. Okay. Wait, but there's still stuff upstairs though. There's so many hallways. Oh, what? Um. It doesn't look very dangerous really? to me. Well, some dangers are hidden where you can't see. see. Shuichi, you have quite the imagination, don't no. you? No, I just think you're not considering how dangerous this is. <laughs> yeah, maybe, but we should look around the basement too. Right? There might be an exit. Oh, but we should be uh, careful. Okay. You're, you're right. Huh. Oh, this basement looks creepy. Oh, what the hell? All right, let's, what is it? Oh, the library is down here. Why would the library be in the basement? Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Uh-uh. Oh? As I opened the door, I suddenly gagged from the musty smell of old books. Hmm. Is this a library? There are books all over the place. It doesn't seem very organized. Oh, does that bother you? Are you a neat freak, no. Shuichi? No, it's just I was wondering if someone was using it before huh? us. Someone. No. It's nothing. Let's just investigate for now. She don't get it. He's like, forget it. Okay, um, hello, Miss Day. You look kind of cute. Hey. Um, are you an ultimate okay. student too? Yeah, that's right. Uh, are you the ultimate vampire? What the hell? <laughs> Why is she looking like this? Is that it? She doesn't just talk much. I... I'm Kaede. I'm the ultimate pianist. I'm, I'm the ultimate detective. Jeez. Jeez, not suppose. You are the ultimate detective, okay? Uh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Um. And what about you? Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. Really? You do not give that vibe off at all, girl. <laughs> the ultimate child caregiver. I see. Huh. <sighs> Surprise, I don't look like someone who like kids, do I? Huh? No. You look like someone that would bite someone's neck, okay, and maybe turn into diamonds and shine like diamonds in the light, okay? That's what you look like. <laughs> That's right. Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that oh. much. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly mm -hmm. either. But they say kids are very intuitive. If they like you that much, Hey. Then they can probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm-hmm. Mm, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin huh? with. Huh? What do you mean so by that? What? Nothing. It just, I grew up in an orphanage and got saddled with helping out a lot. Aw. Orphanage, um, huh? By the way, do you know anything about the Monica? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, someone's got to be controlling them, right? Any idea who it might like be? I'd know. How would I know? Mm. Well, fair point. Hmm, the Monica's are definitely involved in our situation. Mm -hmm. Hey, boy detective. <laughs> Shouldn't you have figured out what's going on already? Huh? What? Um, well, he's a detective, not a god. He can't know everything. Yeah. I mean, who cares about some stuffed animals? Escaping this place is way more important. Well, Seriously, you think we can escape? Abducting ultimates from across the country would require massive resources and planning. What makes you think a group capable of that would just let us walk out of that's here? That's not true. If they won't end this, then we will. I know we can do it if we work together. What? Work together with strangers? You're a naive fool if you think you can end this so easily. Huh? I don't know, I feel like she might be sweet. I feel like she's putting on like this like tough persona, but I feel like she might be sweet, okay? So let's look at her, oh, she just left. Our conversation finished, she quickly headed out of the library. Huh, mm. that was kind of odd. She didn't even seem like the ultimate child Jeez. caregiver. Jeez, don't say that. Hmm. Let's look at her report card, let's see. Let's see here, okay. Oh wait, there she goes. Okay, so she dislikes Winter Lake Shores, but she likes Morning Lake Shores. Okay, you know what? Y'all are all very tiny, okay? 97 pounds? I'm like double that. No, oh wait, I'm not 180, but like I'm like 164-ish. Like, so y'all are tiny. What a beautiful globe. Huh, okay, so nothing else with the globe? It looks kind of weird. Looks like a ladder for reaching for books on higher shelves. Okay, is there anything else? Okay, that, oh, weird sliding door, huh? Hold on, let's look at the bookcase. These books seem difficult to read and they're not even written in a language I recognize. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother with them. I, I hear that, I do not like to read at all, but yet I'm playing this game. <laughs> huh, what's over there? Let's see. Oh, that just brings us back to, oh, oh, huh. Okay. Oh, that just brings us to the other side. I got it, I got it, I understand. I understand. Okay, so let's go. Oh, is this a game room? Oh, let's go in the arcade, let's go. Oh, it's not an arcade. Oh, it is an arcade. Oh, oh. Huh? It looks like a 
game room. But this is a school, right? It's a normal for a school to have its own game yeah. room. It certainly is strange. Huh. Let's look at you, little munchkin. What's up? What now? I did not expect his voice to sound like that at all. Like, at all. What? What a strange place. When I heard we were trapped here, I didn't expect we have a game room. Uh -huh. Are we really trapped in here? There must be an exit, still right? still got a ways to go. <laughs> Isn't that what you guys are walking around looking for? Then figure it out yeah. yourself. Okay. However, we may be trapped, but it's pretty cool here compared to prison huh? anyway. What? You're an ultimate student, aren't you? It's an old story. What the hell is up with his voice? What is up with his voice? Ryoma Hoshi, the man called the ultimate tennis pro, no longer exists. So you played tennis with that deep ass voice and then you went to prison? What is up with your story? What is, what is up with you? I'm nothing more than his empty shell. Oh, what the hell is up with his voice, yo? Oh, oh my God. Is it really? I've seen you in the newspaper. The tennis prodigy who single-handedly took down the mafia. Huh? Who took down a mafia? I remember correctly. The paper said he shot them through the head with his tennis skills in an iron ball. What the hell? Really? <laughs> huh, so you know that much already. Well, what do you think of the loser before you who used his talent to oh. kill? But why would you throw away your future Jeez. like that? Because I didn't need a future huh? anymore. Huh? No. No, it's nothing. Don't, it's not like me to talk so much. More important. Anyway, I'm warning you. It's dangerous to just walk up to a killer like me. He said that. He, as he said that, he turned his back to us. What the hell is up with this one, yo? Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Okay, let's look at his report card, yo. He's interesting. What the hell? Okay, so he likes Russian blues. He dislikes white tip reef sharks. Okay. <laughs> What the hell? I was not expecting his voice to sound like that at all. Okay, let's look. Is there anything else here? Just the red sliding door. Hmm. Okay, so let's look at the sliding door. Let's see that. Oh, it's locked. Hmm. We can't go that way. It looks like it's yeah. locked. I wonder what's inside this room. I hope we can investigate it later. Huh. All right. Hmm, might be something over there later, so let's leave. Huh. The basement's kind of creepy a little bit. And he got his little creepy ass down there saying, oh, I'm a killer. <laughs> what? All right. Um, hmm. All right. So let's go back upstairs because everything down here is creepy. Let's go back. Let's go to the other side of the hallway. Oh, we couldn't go through there before, right? Looks like we, the iron gate opened. Did someone open it for us? Let's check it out. Wait a minute. Who opened it? Because this was locked. Uh. Oh, is this the entrance hall? Right, Shuichi, this must be the entrance hall, don't you think? Uh, okay. Yeah, I suppose okay. so. Which means, huh, that could get mm -hmm. out? That door must be the entrance. If you walk through, we can escape no. this place, right? Wait, I don't think we should open doors carelessly. It could be a trap. Worrying about that isn't necessary. Ooh, I have already examined the doors. You look kinda hot. That's kinda hot. Uh, hmm. uh yes. you wonder who is this? Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguchi. Mm. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Oh, okay. He looks kinda hot. I like his eyeliner. Anthropologist? Please call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like it a simple explanation? Yes, please. Because I don't know. Anthropology. Anthropology studies customs, legends, folk tales, songs, and much more. There may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not Let's know. See. For example, certain aspects of birthday or New Year celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as these through rigors and analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really. It sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It's a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Oh, oh uh. okay. I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. Oh, oh okay. He's like another... I don't know if he's gonna be another Nagato or not. <laughs> but this guy looks like a creep and it turns out he is one too. Mm. Anyway, we can go outside if we just go through these doors, it's right? Sure. You should find the answers to such questions on your own. That moment that your hopes are shattered, that too may be beautiful. Shattered? What does he mean by that? Okay. Well, he's social distancing because he got his little mask on and he has a little zip thing for when he has to eat, so he's smart. So, he's like, y'all not about to get me COVID. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's look at him. 
Let's see, is he this one? Yep. Oh, oh, look at the mask. Okay, so he likes straw ropes and he dislikes air conditioning. Okay, that's a little random. All right. Um, all right, let's see that door. Huh? Shuichi. Then let's go. Okay. Determined as I was, I couldn't just couldn't muster the courage to take the first step forward. To be honest, I was scared because what if beyond this was this isn't like me. Huh? Just because I'm scared doesn't mean I'm gonna run away. I just gotta move forward. Are you okay? Are you okay? Really? Don't worry about it. Let's go, Suichi. Shuichi. I psych myself up with newfound strength, walked boldly towards the doors. Okay. Upon opening the doors, we were immediately greeted by blue skies, bright sunlight, gentle wind, and the Power Rangers, a cage. A we're in a cage? damn cage? Both worlds. Both words were accurate. What stood before us was both cage and wall. Either way, the enormous wall struck a terrifying chord. The mere sight of its imposing presence was enough to send us waves of panic through me. No matter where we looked, ahead, beyond, above, or all around, the cage surrounded the entire What school. is this? We're trapped? I know. What's going on? I don't know. Lord, we are not getting out. We are That's not getting out. Sign. Here they go, here they go. Lord. Hello, Power Rangers. What's up? Hey. Surprised about the cage, huh? I totally understand how you feel. The first time I saw it, my teeth and fingernails fell in. That's not a healthy way to react to a surprise. But it's so awesomely huge, I can see why it's called the end wall. Huh? End wall? That's right. Normally, walls are erected to separate two places, right? But that wall is different. It represents the end of the world. What are you talking about? Huh? What were you talking about? Yeah. Huh? Was someone talking? Was I talking? <laughs> I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh, Stop laughing and explaining oh. yourselves. There's nothing to explain. It's simply how it is, so please don't bother. You can't get out of here. The wall has no entrances or exits, and it cannot be climbed or demolished. Well, actually, An ultimate could probably climb it part way, but most of the time it's impossible. But they can still sort of climb it, huh? I took a deep breath and shouted at the wall as loud as I could. Someone help us! Please help us! Uh oh. Someone, anyone, please help us. We're trapped inside this huge cage. Ooh. I shouted as loud as I could, but for all of my shouting, there was no response. Stop it. Please stop, you'll hurt your throat. That's right. You scream all you like, no one can hear you anyway. No one can hear us. Hey. What do you mean? What do you mean no one can hear us? Now I got the damn hiccups, Lord. Wait. Say something. Hey. That one doesn't talk. One of you just answer. Damn it. Damn it. Hmm. Monadam is ignoring them excellently because he refuses to open his heart. <laughs> you can thank my fearsome bullying for making that happen. <sighs> You're proud of that? Now, now, let's all get along. Dumbass. Shut up. We're the Monica's. We need to be tough and whatnot. Uh, what is this? You things? This school? What is all of this? So. You bastards all have to use your legs, hands, and eyes to find out, find that out for Actually. yourself. So please watch your step while you explore. The school is still under construction. Huh? Under construction? I looked around. What? It was true. Some areas did seem as if they were still under construction. It looks like they were still building some kind of facilities here. Huh. Um. Are they still in the middle of building the school? No. I don't think so. It seems more like they're renovating and abandoning. Either way, the construction will finish soon once we set the exosols on autopilot. Huh? What? Hell yeah! One part of a big a biker gang, the exosols now work construction to support their wives and kids. Do robots really need that kind of backstory? Uh, no. Their steering wheels were our leopard print and their dashboards are lined with arcade pipe. We don't care about this shit. What you talking about? What are we talking about here? You stupid. Seriously, knock it off, guys. They sound like douchebags with backstories like those. So what? Long. These bears are gonna give me a headache. Uh, and there they go again. But more importantly, is what they said really true? We can't escape? We can't go over that wall? And no one's coming to rescue us? Oh, but if I give up now, then what? I slapped both my cheeks, and as my face grew warm, I could feel my determination hey. returning. Hey, Shuichi, let's go see if we can find a way out. I slapped him upside his head, and just firm enough to get his attention. Ow. Ow. You know? Shuichi, I'm not great at motivating others, but we can't give up just because we're wall. We came in somewhere, so there has to be an yeah, exit. that's right. We may not be able to escape now, but we'll do it eventually somehow. Yeah. Everyone just has to cooperate if we all want to get out of here. Yeah, that's right. It's too early to give up. It's too early. Huh. So what is out what is out here? What is what is that? What is that? And what is what is back here? Okay, so we can't we can't look at that. 
Okay, so that's the oh, that's the other side of the dining hall. So the dining hall leads outside, huh? Okay, got it. So the dining hall leads out here. Okay, can't go that way yet. And there's something here, huh? And what is this? That's a crate that's blocking that side. And all oh, right. And there's a nope. We can't go that way either. Okay. Hello. Hello, you. How'd they even make this big ass wall? Seriously, I just don't get it. I wonder what would happen now if you can't escape right. then. What are you huh? complaining? Huh? Listen up. Quit complaining and grumbling or I'll turn it into a habit. Oh. Besides, this cage is nothing compared to the vastness of the universe. Um, huh? The universe? Got it. Oops, I haven't introduced myself yet. My bad. I'm Kaito Momota. Okay. Luminary of the stars. Okay. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. All right. I like it. The ultimate astronaut. He looks kind of hot, too. <laughs> How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. <laughs> well, of course, not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I see, so you're still a trainee. You no. Know? But I am the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take it. Huh? Huh? Then how did you take it? So... I had a friend who was pretty crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Huh? Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in pretty deep shit. Hmm. I wonder what everybody did, okay? Because like, when we first came in here, they said that this is the academy for ultimate juveniles, all right? And then the, ten the short little tennis dude said that he was a killer and he killed people with his tennis talent. He's saying that he forged some stuff. So it seems like everybody did something to land them in jail or in juvenile jail. Is, is this jail? I don't know, huh? But the people up top decided they liked me and let me in anyway. Of course, I ace the exam too. That's got reckless. It. Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I could wait till after college. I wanna get to space as fast right. as I can. You sure have a lot of got energy. It. Yeah, everyone told me it was impossible, but I never gave up, not for a moment. That's because limits don't exist unless you set them Let's yourself. Do it. There are no walls you can't get over. The same goes for that could one. It be? So do you have any ideas? Hmm, Shut no. Up. That's not the problem. <laughs> um, no, that is the problem. Jeez, this guy sure talks a big game. I kind of like him though. I like his mindset. Like you could, you could do anything that you want to do if you put your mind to it. You could do it. I like it. All right. So let's check his report card. Let's see. Is he this one? Okay. So he likes house plants and he just likes them. Oh, all right. This building is round and has a lot of smaller rooms. Very inside. nice to see you again. Oh my God. Why? Nice to see you again. Why, hello, Bear. Sorry to intrude. Jeez. What is it this time? And what do you mean by that? Because this you is your home, you bastards. <laughs> we finished setting up the showers. Now you can go pee. Hey. Why don't you just use the toilet? <laughs> huh? You prefer number two? Ah. What? Do you go number two in a shower? <laughs> That's gross. Okay, who said so in the shower? Yeah, well. <laughs> like, I understand. I understand um, peeing in the shower, you know, all you gotta do is aim for the drain, but like, not shitting in the shower. Could it be? This means, they mean for us to live here. See, there are 16 doors, perhaps a room for each Stop of us. It. I don't plan on staying here long enough to need a room. Huh. All right, well, let's talk to you, Miss Ma'am. Are you a maid? Like, what are, what are you? But, huh, I failed to see the objective. Um, oh, she got gloves like Kyoko, huh? What do you mean? No. If they are holding us for ransom, a large facility such as this would be unnecessary. Furthermore, I gather they would rather care for us than hurt us. In light of this, I fail to see the true objective of the culprits responsible for kidnapping us. Yo, is she the ultimate detective or is Shuichi? Like, who is it? Culprits, huh? I never even thought about that. Why would our kidnappers go to all this trouble? 16 ultimate students have been gathered here, but why? What's the reason? Excuse me. Pardon me, I have not introduced myself yet. I am Hirimi Tojo, the ultimate maid. I was right. Please let me know if you require my service. Okay, I knew she was a maid. Okay, cool. All right. I like her little outfit, though. I like the spider web. Wow, the ultimate maid sounds like a really cool oh. talent. Wait, I've heard of Kirumi Tojo. If I remember correctly. An ultimate with incredible intellect and ultimate and strength. Working as a private maid. I heard that her work is so perfect she can complete any request given to her. Wait, she's that amazing? Please, you're exaggerating. I would not complete any request that is asked of me. I once received a request to annihilate a rival nation, but as it was impossible, I rejected it. 
But being requested to do that is pretty impressive on its That's own. That's true. Also, I've heard that she's been hired as a bodyguard to several foreign dignitaries. I do not agree. I have only been employed as a maid, not a bodyguard. But you've been hired by so many important people. You're like a superman. Man. Moving on, what do you intend to do now? Mm. That's a tough question. What should we do? Um, what would you do? I do not really? agree. I hold no opinions or desires of which to speak. I am a maid. As a maid, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. So please, think about what you desire for yourself and what you desire for me. No matter the situation, no matter what happens, I'm here to serve everyone. Even in a situation she's more concerned for others, well, she is the ultimate maid after all. Huh. She's interesting. Hmm. I have to keep an eye on her, though. <laughs> Might have to keep an eye on her. Oh, we, so we can't even move around in this room. We just have to like turn it. All right. So can I see my room? Where's my room? Oh, there's my room. Can I look in there? I don't plan to see. Okay, so she doesn't. She doesn't even want to look. All right. So let's leave. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, let's look at the maid. Let's look at the maid. I didn't look at her before card. So hold on. Okay, she likes cleaning and she does not like to take days off. Okay, so she's a workaholic. Got it. Oh, hello, big man. What's up? What's up? Oh, well, this guy looks scary. He's so big and muscular. Um, Excuse me? Huh? Thank you. Oh, th oh, you're such a sweetheart. Huh? Huh? Sorry. Sorry for scaring. Oh, he looks like he's scary on the outside, but a teddy bear on the inside. Gone to scary looking. Most people not gone. Wait, what? Gonta's scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when meeting for first time. Because Gonta gentlemen. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary oh. at all. All right, Gonta need to make introduction. Um, Gonta's um, name is Gonta Gokuhara. Huh. Uh, Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. What is that? Gonta want to become gentlemen. Huh. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. He's adorable. He's adorable. Gonta is adorable. <laughs> I see. You're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Really? Thank you. Oh, you're actually pretty nice. Really me for being scared at first. Maybe. Oh, Gonta's scary looking, huh? Sorry. Sorry, that's not what I... No, it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Since you were a kid, huh? Kid Gonta bigger than other kids. Other kids scared of Gonta. So kid Gonta play alone. That's how Gonta came to like bugs. But when Gonta really focuses, it's easy to lose track. One day, Gonta go to forest to find bugs. End up lost. I see. That sounds rough. Were they able to find you hmm. right away? Yeah, it took 10 years. Good lord. Huh? But 10 years? But Gonta fine. New family took care of Gonta. Hmm. I see. I'm glad they were nice people. Huh. So he was, is that why he talks like that? Because he was gone for 10 years as a child? I don't know. Um. Not people, wolves. Got it. So he was raised by wolves, and that's how he speaks. Huh? What? Okay. But they really nice, because the Forest family going to learn to speak bug and animal. Going to. As thanks, going to want to show Forest family what great gentleman going to is. Um, how's becoming a gentleman going to thank you for that? This place strange, huh? Lots of plants, no bugs. Huh? Wait, really? I suppose it's understandable there are, there are no animals, but no insects? That's strange. Not even one mm. bug? You like bugs too? Amazing. Oh, what's your favorite bug? What you like about uh, them? Uh, uh, no, I wasn't saying that I like bugs wait. or anything. Then you hate bugs? What? But how? You hate bugs? That's not true. Um, you don't hate bugs. You love them, right, Shuichi? Okay. Oh, yeah, of course I do. I love bugs. Thank goodness. Oh, okay, that good. No bad person likes bugs. Okay, let's keep in mind not to say anything bad about bugs around Gonta, okay? He looks like he's gonna crush the shit out of us. <laughs> That was scary. Cool, yeah, I thought you were gonna die. <laughs> Honestly, I can't stand bugs either, but it might be the best to hide that. Yeah, let's not speak bad about bugs around Gonta, okay? So he likes anthropods, he doesn't like bananas. Huh, okay. That's weird, what the hell is this? What is that? What is that? Is this a ninja statue? It looks like one, but why is this here? Seriously, there are so many odd things. What, what? Okay. Oh, hello, Miss Thing. Let's talk to you. You look cute. Yeah. How are you? My name is Angie Yonaga. Hmm. I'm the ultimate artist. Okay. She looks very cute. I like her. Um. You're pretty cheerful. She's a bit too happy considering the situation we're in. Yeah. There's no reason to carry bad thoughts with you. You gotta live every day like it's bright, cheery, and fun. So says Atua. Huh? Huh? I. 
The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh, um, I do both. I paint paintings and I sculpt sculptures. But Atua is the only one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as a So divine! How divine? I see. I see, that's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? An offering? Uh, Every Monday and Wednesday morning on my island, the truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. What you trying to do, girl? Don't worry. Sorry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I see. I see. What about you, then? Me? Uh, yep. Boy's blood is also an acceptable offering. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. It won't hurt one uh. bit. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> don't run away. This girl is so weird. Okay, so she want to do a blood sacrifice. Like, what's she trying to do? She's trying to do a blood sacrifice? I don't know. Oh? Oh? Huh? Was that the bell? Oh. Kaede, look, the monitor. And there they go. Look, look. Thanks for playing with us. Oh, God. You bastards! This is a kept you bastards waiting, All huh? All right! Everyone make your way to the gym, please. The opening ceremony can finally yeah. begin. We finally finished our preparations. Hey. You do realize you just read your lines backwards. So long. Long. Oh my god. Okay. Gym opening ceremony. Hey. Kaida, what should we do? What should we do? Go, of course. Everyone else is probably doing the same You're thing. Right. True, but I'm a little worried about this. Well, I'm not a little worried. I'm very worried. Huh. So, we not gonna talk about what this place is? This is a nice, this is a nice place. It's a nice place. There's nothing for us to look at here. Okay. All right. So let's just leave this area. Okay. This is the other side of the hallway. Oh, this is this was the place in the beginning. It seems like everyone heard that. Oh, I can't look at this yet. Okay. So let me just keep going. Let me just keep going. Mind my business. All right. Let's go this way. There we go. All right. So there was nobody on the other side. Thankfully, I looked at everything. Do you agree? Huh? All the sixteen of us have gathered. Mm. Hmm, it's pretty spectacular seeing all 16 of us ultimates gather together. You may not be able to go to be so easygoing for much longer. In a situation, it's no use thinking about things, so eventually, Sumigi, stop thinking. What's gonna happen to us? I bet it'll be a big pain. Hmm. What? What are you looking for? Himiko! Himiko, you can use amazing powers, right? Because you're a psychic and stuff, it's right? Magic. I'm not a psychic, I'm a maid. <laughs> Whoa, that's amazing. I definitely want to incorporate that into Neo Akita. What sort of training did you undergo to gain your awesome powers? Mm -hmm. Talking about it is too tiring. <sighs> You're pretty lazy. Please wait. Pardon me, but we need to be on our guard. We do not know if and when danger will strike. Don't. don't say that. I'm so scared. I don't know what to do. It'll be okay. There's no need to worry. Atua will protect <sighs> us. Phew, that's a relief. Fucking more. Is your brain full of weeds or something? I'll whack him out of that skull. Don't of worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just leave it to me. Leave it to me. If those teddy bears show themselves again, I'll kick all their Don't asses. Wonder huh? What's that? Trend. What? What's wrong? See? Whoa! Listen, hear that. Ah, I think I hear it. It sounds like an engine from a robot anime. Huh? Oh, here they go. Here they go. Lord. Uh, Lord. Oh, God. Rise and shine their sign. There they go. Are we going to have to fight them, like, one by one? I don't know. Lord. This is bad. <laughs> Everyone! Is everyone behind Gota? What the heck are those monsters? Wow. So cool, and you like it, of course. Look at Hell them. yeah! They're exosoles. Highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms. They got a lot of hometown pride. What are you too. saying? I can't keep track of these back <laughs> Whatever they are, they better kill off the uggos and save me for last. Hey. Run, Amigo! So why are you concerned about me all of a sudden? Oh, he's calling her ugly, you bastard. By the way. Huh, didn't notice, didn't someone say they would kick all their asses? Oh. Huh, what the hell? Nobody told me about okay. these. All right, chill out, no need to panic. We're probably not in any danger. If they wanted to kill us, they'd have done it by now. True. With that, Montaro casually walked up to the yeah. axles. So what do you want from us? You clearly want something. So what are the guns for, right? That's what the guns are for. Let me guess, you're gonna force us to do something, and if we don't, we that can hurt. Means. Well, you have our attention, so what do you want? Aren't you a wise guy? Hey! I'll start us off. Listen up. Here's what we want you punk asses to do. <laughs> My heart's going 100 miles per hour. I'm gonna say it. You ready? Hell yeah, it's, it's a, a killing game. Oh, uh -huh. now he talks. Huh? Now he talks. Hey! of them, how dare you upstage huh? me? Wait a second, what did you say? Hmm. If I heard him correctly. It's a killing game. <laughs> He's like, I'll say it again, okay? <laughs> he said it again. God 
damn it, Mama Dam. I'm gonna crush you with this here exosol. Come on, we don't have to fight amongst ourselves. Okay. Yeah, if you don't stop fighting, I'm gonna crush you here with this exosol. You too, Mama Dam? If this is what it's come to, then I'm gonna crush the four of you with this here exosol. Why are you including me? Oh well. oh, well, it's more appropriate for us to be hostile to each other. What? You what? Go, Jabroni. Huh? Who you calling Jabroni? Jabroni! What is up with y'all? Jabroni? What I'm is up with y'all? Anytime, Jabroni! Check yourself before you wreck yourself! Okay. <laughs> Seriously? Are they gonna get it on right in front of us? I guess so. Don't worry. Atua is watching over us. Oh my goodness. In a situation like this, is he just going to watch? Either Maybe. way, it's too dangerous. We need to get out of here, or else. Or no. else. No, no. Oh, what? Lord, is that Monokuma? My cute little cubs. You gotta knock off this awful fighting. That's Monokuma. Lord, that's Monokuma. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Father! Father? Papa Kuma! Daddy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Huh? Daddy? Oh, my God. At that moment, the lights in the gymnasium suddenly shut off. Lord, now we're gonna see Monokuma. Oh no. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I that, I can't believe they say daddy. Papa. Papa. I am the god of this new world. Oh and my the goodness. Headmaster of the Ultimate Academy! Great. The Great. one! The only Monokuma! Nice to meet ya! Oh, God. Yay! The father's here. Hell yeah! Another epic entrance from Papa Kuma. <laughs> Daddy is so cool. And he doesn't say anything. My, My cute little cubs. They're all, all so freaking cute. Oh, the only reason I can tolerate your tiresome antics is because you're all so cute. Yeah, so Even when the prologue is going way too long, I'll allow it because you guys are too cute. Yeah. In fact, the very first prologue ever was only short because your cutie patooties weren't there. Huh. Pop, are you mad at us? Don't be, Don't be an idiot. I would never get mad at my cute little cubs. <laughs> he's mad. The daddy is still cooling when he's angry. That's right. Pops is from a planet of handsome bears that get cooler as they get angrier. It's what? Getting interesting. Super Monokuma, Super Monokuma 2, Super Monokuma 3, and finally Super Monokuma 4. What? Oh, he mean all y'all asses. How many times do I gotta say it? I'm not mad! He be beating up everybody. He's so abusive. <laughs> ah, father just transformed into a Super Monokuma God, Super Monokuma! Lord. That's only Lord. possible when six Monokumas of pure heart are gathered together. It's oh the my god. Power you bust out when you really wanna fuck the world shit up! Oh my god! The power you only see when the gods themselves do battle. What? What? I'm really not mad. In fact, I gotta admit that I'm actually proud of you guys. You got you kids really stand out from the rest of the second generation failures in the no world. Way. Isn't that a little harsh? I'm sure there are some second generation success stories. Yeah, but I can't think of any though. Huh. Oh, oh! If look at the hat! It's cause there's none worth remembering! But oh my Father god! Remembers, cause he knows everything! Holy shit! That's right, Papa Kuma! You know all kinds of useless crap! Cause Daddy gets all his alternate facts from the most trusted names in fake news! It's so weird that they're calling him Daddy. Like, it's just... It just sounds weird. I don't know. I love embracing my children. They're so cute. I just can't help myself. Usually, Raiden's will plummet with mascots with him secrets too much. But in this case, Raiden's are through the roof, all thanks to the cute Mana Cubs. Uh, what is this? What's going on? Another teddy bear appeared. Yes, but that is no ordinary teddy bear. I can see it, the despair and madness swirling around that cursed thing. Whoa, first of all, I'm no teddy bear. I'm Monokuma. And show some respect. I'm the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy for Kids and Juveniles. Headmaster? Mm -hmm. It appears to be some sort of autonomous robot with a built-in AI like me. Dun dun dun! Oh. Yeah, but... The exosols are different, though. They're brainless buckets of bolts. That's right! They're mindless, pretty, killing machines that can only be controlled by us, the Monica. Sheesh. Autonomous robots piling weapons platforms. This is certainly turning into quite the story. Right. Well, that may be, but what I'm worried about is the killing game you mentioned. What exactly does that mean? <laughs> He's gonna let us know now. Oh. We're gonna die. 
what it's all music. Yeah. It's just when I said it before, I kind of just phoned it in and now I feel awkward. Extreme. I want you students with your ultimate level talent to participate in the killing game. Huh? Killing game? Us? Please stop. Please stop joking. Why would we agree to participate in the huh? killing game? Huh? You guys don't want to do don't it? Don't never do that. Of course not. Gentlemen not hurt and people. But if you looked around the academy, then you already know, don't you? The academy is surrounded by a huge wall. You can't escape to the outside world. And as long as we have the exosoles, you can't defy it. In other words, I will hold the power of life and death over each and every one of you. So do what you say if we don't want to die. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta me. be kidding me. Why would friends kill each other? Oh. Who said you guys were friends? No way. You guys aren't friends at all. Your enemies out to kill each other. Huh? Enemies? We're enemies? Huh, I still have a lot to learn from father about sarcasm. All this talking is bugging the shit out of me. I gotta beat up Monodom to relieve the stress. Poor thing, you just getting bullied. But I don't like that. I'm not good with violence or gore or sad situations. Um, daddy, instead of a killing game, can we do a rock, paper, scissors tournament? You stupid. Who would wanna play a game where there no one dies? Well, you do have a compassionate personality. It's so cute, I can barely understand it. Why, it's cute enough to eat. Cute enough that I want to eat it. Huh? Hey, mono monophony. You might want to dial back the cute stick a bit. Huh. Pull it with the stupid banter. I want to ask something. How are we supposed to kill each other? Are you going to give us weapons? Oh, what the hell, man? What are you asking? We need to get info from them first. We can't do anything if we don't know it. No way! Weapons, huh? What kind of barbaric display are you envisioning? You couldn't be more wrong. Why, at the Ultimate Academy for Gifted <laughs> Juveniles, the killing game is quite the refined, sophisticated experience. What? Sophisticated? Yeah. Yes, yeah. here, the killing game is punctuated by class trials. Uh, of course, here we go, the class trials. Okie dokie! Let us explain. All right. All right, so if one of you maggots kills someone, you mm. all gotta take part in a class trial. Yep. The class trial is where the blackened killer yep. faces off against their spotless classmates. Yep, it's we where know you this. punk ass bitches argue over who you fucking think the blackened is. Why they gotta call this punk ass bitch? Why we gotta be punk ass bitches? Like, After what that, it's voting time! And if the majority of you idiots vote correctly, then only the Blackens killer will receive p, -p punishment <laughs> So cruel. Just imagining all the blood and gore makes me want to puke. Oh, really? After the Blackened is punished, the rest of you will just keep right on living together. But mm. if you vote for the wrong person during the class trial, we know the Blackened we die. gets off scot-free and all the spotless students get punished instead. Yep, we know. We know that. Hell this. yeah! Them's the rules of the class trial! Woo hoo hoo! Ow! He is really hyped for us to kill each other. Like, he wants somebody to die. But the explanation revealed way too much. You gotta be more coy, flirtatious, seductive, just like your old man. Gross. Ew. Hey, right. Um, the point is, it's not even enough to kill someone. You also have to survive I the class trial. Kill without being caught and then survive the trial. Sounds eerily similar to the real world. You think so? Then the outside world must be masterfully designed, even at its coolest. Listen. One can likely imagine, but I shall ask just in case. What is the punishment you mentioned earlier? Yeah. Simply put, it's an execution. You die. <gasps> execution? You die. Yes. If you do a crime, mm. you get punished for it. Mm. That's like the most basic rule of society. Mm. But this is a killing game. Mm. So the punishment for murder is a bit more permanent. See that? See? Look. Hell yeah! I wonder what kind of punishment there'll be. Lots of blood and guts and brains, I bet. The kind of stuff that gives me a raging boner. Yeah. Ew. Okay, what, Mata Kid? You really ha already have a boner? Yeah, I'm rage. so hard right now. Oh, Ugh. Blood, guts, brain. Oh, yeah. Ugh, yeah. she throw up? Mon <laughs> she just Get rock hard so okay, we know. Feel like nobody wants to see yeah. it. Puke gets your boner too. <laughs> you kids are just adorable. What? what the hell is cute about that? All right, I'm over all this boring kills, kills, Let's kills. get this heart pounding killing school semester started already. My goodness. You have free reign to murder however you like, chip. Like bludgeoning mm. or stabbing. Feeling cheap? Try mm. strangulation. Feeling Lord. lazy? Try poisoning. Just giving Whether people you ideas. Shoot, burn, drown, blow up, crash, electrocute, or laugh your victim to death. Mm. You can use any 
method you like to kill anybody you like, any way you like. Oh my At God. the Ultimate Academy for Gifted Juveniles, you will realize your murderous potential. This 16 man. talented teenage prodigies, all competing for first place in a killing game. The first place you live, There's that's no surprise. no better setting for an event like this than the Ultimate Academy. Oh my God. You got me. Killing school semester is like a game. <laughs> Risking our lives for some silly game is but... absurd. It doesn't seem like it'll be boring though. Hey, how can you degenerate to be so calm? This be. has to be a lie, right? It's a lie, right? Nope, this is real life. A lie more like fiction, like a story on TV, a scenario so removed from reality we can hardly believe is happening. It's no use. I don't want to be in a killing game. It's wrong, I'd never do that. <laughs> well, if you don't want to participate in the killing game, that's gonna be a problem. Cause the killing game is the only reason you're here. Huh? Now then, unleash your talents and have a happy, homicidal, horrific, hilarious killing game. Oh, Wait, just a minute, oh, huh? Stop it. No matter what you say, we won't That's do wrong. it. We'll never participate in the killing I'll game. I'll do it. Whatever you have planned, I'm not gonna let you get away with it. Um, Kaide, you shouldn't just rashly defy that thing. That's No, nice. no, I welcome her persistence. That kind of defiant spirit is important to the killing game. It's fun to watch the defiant ones eventually snap and get their hands mm -hmm. dirty. What do you mean by that? I love Everyone it. loves that kind of brutality in a death game, especially me. It never gets old. It's so fun and entertaining that I just get unbearably pumped. Cause. Plus, as the headmaster, it's my job to force you to do it. <laughs> I wonder what the motivations in this game will be. <laughs> Look, Power Rangers, we don't need to hear from you, okay? Lord. Oh? We stood in dumbfounded silence, surrounded by the squealing laughter of Monokuma and his cubs. Everything about the situation was so messed up. An academy surrounded by a giant wall, 16 ultimate students trapped inside, mysterious stuffed bears and deadly weapons, and new friends forced to play some killing game. It all felt like something out of a sadistic work of fiction. A sadistic story, no different from reality itself. And against my will, I was now a character in that story. Man. I don't know how this is gonna go. Hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, I like how they're doing that. The little bullet. That's a true bullet, isn't it? Hey. 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 And then there goes the Power Rangers. All right, we got Kaide, Akamatsu. Then we got Kibo. Uh-huh, I like Kibo. Then we got Kurumi, the ultimate maid. Then we have Rontaro, too suspicious to me. Okay. Mm. All right, the ultimate detective. Uh-huh. And then the ultimate cosplayer. I want to see her outfit. Then we got Gonta, Bugdu, Tenko, Akito, Koikichi, criminal, villain. She doesn't like kids. He's cool looking. She's a mage. It's a lot. Okay, she looks very cool. And he got a deep ass voice. She's a bitch. He's an astronaut. <laughs> All right. And then Monokuma, who never seems to die. This is kinda cool. Wow. Hey. Oh, there's meteors and... Hmm. And, oh, I guess that was her going down into the elevator. Maybe. Uh-huh. Mm. I like it. I like this intro. Yes. Don't copyright me, please. <laughs> All right, y'all. So that is the end of the first episode for Dangarumpa B3. This group... It's a very interesting group. This group is a very interesting group. I got my eyes on certain people in this game. I got my eyes on the dude that said, if this game, if this is what it appears to be, then we're in trouble. That dude, and then the one, the one that we don't know his talent yet, I'm suspicious of him heavily. Like, why is he the only one that doesn't know? And then he referenced, he referenced something hinting that like he didn't forget kind of I don't know but I'm looking at him so far but this looks like a very interesting group so 
I want to see how this turns out. But if you guys like the first episode, make sure you like up the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I'll be back with more Danganronpa V3. And I'll see you guys later. And deuces.